My audio bugged out. All I could hear was the sound. the wicked bro thanks for the wicked the other one. Part of my build, bro. I got wicked. I got wicked. Thank 
They got a healing hive now, bro. Seriously? <laughs> oh, that dude just got beamed. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my decoy now, they'll never see me run over here. What a retard. I might have chased this idiot, just run over pop med kick quick. I got the virus med cat on, I'm a retard. Whatever, straight point you want, dude. Just wait till you eat over here. Out here. Behind me. He's one. All I do is pop and get the retard. That's alright. I got him. Chicken shit, motherfucker. To my right. I'm about to go down, sir. Keep moving, keep moving. Nice, nice. Oh, shit. Nice, Nice, nice beam. Nice beam. Nice beam. Nice beams! Good beams, good beams. Kill those down. Kung Fu Rico's gone. More genocide, he's gotta kill. Yo, yo, what's going on, YouTube? This is your man, Clever Thumbs, and I'm bringing you back another banger. Now, today we're actually going to be talking about, if you guys didn't notice, this new build that I've been running. It's a tank, it's a beast, it's an absolute destructive 
monster build and I really want to share this guys with you so before we get right into it definitely smash that like button subscribe turn on that notification bell and uh, that way you guys are aware of when I'm always uploading my new best videos but let's get right into it so um, as you guys did see I am rocking the Kingbreaker let me actually switch the shotgun up and a shotgun this one should be the one with the flat line um, but I'm rocking the Kingbreaker which is well he put together with this build you guys do see I'm gonna go through very very fast I got the Kingbreaker got a shotgun with a flat line as well I use the orbit I really should be using the TDI card for the extra skill tier just cuz I'm already rocking tech technician but this build is very simple uh, you can put it together no problem shouldn't have any trouble farming for this so all you need is catharsis catharsis is gonna give you more damage it's also going to cleanse you. You're going to want to run perfect spotter, amplify total weapon damage and skill damage by 20% to pulsed enemies. Now this is actually really good. Um, this is what makes the build really good because you're going to combine perfect spotter with perfect flatline. Amplifies weapon damage to 20% to pulsed enemies uh, by 20%. Sorry. And then of course I'm running wicked on my backpack. You're probably going, well, you don't you got to be putting them on a status effect? Yup. We'll be talking about that here shortly. Wicked applies a stat uh, applying a status effect increases total weapon damage by 18% for 20 seconds. So that is also a Seska piece. I'm getting that 10% critical hit chance. Um, the glove is simple. It's an assault rifle, uh, damage glove, Fenris. It's gonna give me that crit chance, crit damage, and some uh, armor on the core attribute, as well as the Walker Harris 5% weapon damage, max armor, crit chance, crit damage. And of course, best in slot, my opinion, Picaro's uh, 170k armor. This is going to give me a 10% skill haste, but the reason you want this is because actually gives you that 15% weapon damage, and you, you do also have that critical hit damage. So that's pretty much the build. Pretty basic, um, but this build I have seen hit anywhere from up to 300k crits with the right team synergy. You know what I mean? As long as everyone's playing their part in the game. Uh, this actually goes up higher in damage and you put it with the healer build forget about it forget about it now for my skills you can run run whatever you can actually use a jammer to put people on wicked um that's not too bad at all so you you're always going to have wicked basically um if you run the perfect wicked but we're running the normal one so i run a decoy and a secret mine why am i running the secret mine you, like I said, you guys can run whatever you want, but I'm going to explain to you why I run Secret Mind. Because whenever you do fight uh, Glass Cannon and anything like that, you're just able to toss your Secret Mind in their general direction. And if they're hiding behind cover while you're already suppressing them, it's going to force them to move. So I don't know where that Secret Mind went, but... So basically, you're going to go tag them all out and get that wicked and... That spotter's just gonna kick in. It's not working right now. I wouldn't trust the range at all. But this build does smack, and I just wanted to show you all that, as you guys have seen in the opening clips. But this is your man, Clever Thumbs. Quick, short, little bit video. Um, I'm gonna get at your hairs, and you will see me on the next one coming up real soon. Peace.